Peace, my reflections of divine perfection. Uh, first, I want to welcome everybody back to my channel. And I would like to welcome everybody new who's checking me out for the first time. I do hope that you enjoy. And I ask that you listen with an open heart and an open mind. So, the other day, um, there was this thing on Instagram. Uh, this guy got upset because first he forced me to have a conversation I didn't want to have and the conversation was about readings and he went crazy when I told him that um, I did not believe that readings were necessary and to get a better idea of where I'm coming from to check out my channel and instead he decided to go in on me telling me I'm not spiritual I don't practice what I preach and that he's gonna uh, send his spirits after me and blah 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 so first I am spiritual spirit also means will like that's that's where your spirit is it's your mind it's your will to do and keep going so I am very spiritual I've always been like I've always had very strong will I've always had very strong beliefs that no matter what I'm unstoppable and I'm unbreakable and I will come out on top of any and every situation stronger and better than I was before like so my my spirit my will has always been strong and I do practice what I preach I believe in me first over any taught beliefs of what is so I, I believe everything outside of me exists in the way that it does because of how I believe in it. How I believe in it gives it the life to be in existence the way that it exists. So the reason this is so, our, our feelings, our emotions, that's energy and motion. And your feelings, they come from your heart. This energy and motion is a vibration. It's a vibration that gets detected by your brain. And how it's processed is the frequency of that vibration. Meaning how many times, like the, the occurrence of that vibration or that that emotion that you're feeling so if, if the emotion is something that you're always feeling like if you're always feeling happy like it's it's going to be processed in your brain according to that frequency of that happy emotion if you're already if you're always sad your brain is going to process the frequency of that emotion and bring it into your physical world for you to better understand the frequency of that emotion okay so that that's what creates the world outside of you it's the high frequency of the emotion you're feeling or the high frequency of the vibration being sent from your heart to your brain to be processed and matched with like emotions or vibrations of that frequency that's 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 how it works and in in terms of what we think is our feelings our brain puts a label on our feelings and the label of that feeling comes from our past our memories and it's it's the most it's like the um it, it goes off of how many times like we felt it in different situations and it'll match that and bring you another situation for you to see for it to make sense to you okay that's that's 
how it becomes a belief. So you have to if 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 what you're thinking if if you're getting a negative idea or view of something it's because of an emotion attached to that idea that your brain matched based on your past based on what you believe and how you see the world understand that without you believing in the world the way that you do it would not exist the way that it does you are the only one in your head you are the only one thinking your thoughts you are the only one who can understand your thoughts the way that you do you're the only one who can see through your eyes and see the view that you see and that's all based on what you believe you're seeing and again life and the world that you believe it to be what you believe the world is and what's going on in the world outside of you and how it's treating you what it's doing for you it exists in that way because you believe that it does without you believing in the world and in life the way that you believe in it it would not exist that way okay just let that sink in for a minute so back to the readings i would have to first believe that someone could tell me something about myself that i didn't already know i would have to believe in the readings i would have to believe that they would be able to accept the fullness of the message i would have to believe that they would be able to properly communicate the fullness of that message to me in a way that i fully understand through my perception for the reading to actually work that is a lot of power of belief put into a whole bunch of other things to tell you what's right what's wrong where to go where to stay you take away your own power from your intuition that is always right and put it into maybes of a reading. And these are the same people that, like from my own experience, I've gotten some readings. And when I've gotten these readings, I was always in a fantastic mood. Like the world was in my hand. Like I just won a million dollars. Like I'm ruling half of the world now. You know, that kind of energy. And they would be like, yeah, I'm, I'm detecting a negative cloud of energy hovering over you. It's why things aren't going right. And it's literally them putting a label on. It's literally them putting a label on energy that turns it. Energy is energy. Like two sides of a coin. It's still a coin and it still spins the same. What matters is what you spend it on. Energy is energy. What makes it good or bad is the label you put on it. That's what makes it good or bad. And people who's doing readings should know this. People that are doing readings should like fully accept that what you believe is what you receive. So, to be doing readings and you put your own negative energy of your thoughts onto somebody else 
is not cool. You're putting them under a spell of negativity because you chose to believe that the energy that you were picking up this energy this energy that's just energy and wants to be used to serve you you chose to put a negative label on it for it to serve you in a negative way like i i a hundred percent stand on what i said readings aren't necessary they are not you are taking power away from you you're taking trust away from your own intuition you're telling yourself that you don't trust yourself enough you're taking power away from you and putting it into somebody else for a maybe and then wonder why things don't go the way that they're supposed to or different than what you thought it like you put that power into something into someone else to tell you when you knew all along when you know that what you believe of life is what makes it that way you know that your belief is energy is life that you're putting into the energy around you for creation to create just that. Like I said, so like, I don't, I, I think it's ridiculous. And the whole spirits thing, I would have to believe in spirits. I would have to believe in negative spirits. And I, ha I would have to believe that somebody could put negative spirits on me to harm me for that to happen. And I don't. I've never have. For as long as I can remember, I've never believed in bad spirits, demons, poltergeists, ghosts, none of that. And I've never had that experience because I never put my belief into it because I felt it was ridiculous. Like, why would we be created just to be tortured while somebody in the sky watches? Whether it's God in the sky or ancestors watching over us, watching us get tortured. That don't make sense. It don't make sense. Like, the spirits are you. The ancestors are you. You are God. You, like... Why do y'all not understand this? What you believe is what you receive. So when you believe in things like spirits, like, even if you just think oh well these are good spirits always around me i'm always protected blah 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 the fact that you believe in it open yourself up to them manifesting in every way possible and the potential is unlimited you're going to get the good and the bad because you believe in it you opened yourself up to it instead of remembering that everything outside of you everything outside of your mind literally exists because you're thinking about it and believing in it all of it everything outside of your mind exists is alive is active because you believe in it including the spirits and the ancestors you are the ancestor you are you came from many generations and you're creating many generations after you you are the ancestor the blood is always actively running through a vessel so it never dies just transform it into more powerful versions of self we are the ancestor we are the spirit guides we are god all of this stuff exists the way that it does because we believe it exists the way that it does. So believe in it in a higher light. There is no purpose in believing in something that's going to harm you, that's going to stop you 
that will slow you down that will drain your energy there's no purpose in believing in these things when you know that believing in these things is what make them real you know this why 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 do people choose to torture themselves Why do people choose to torture themselves? Like, when it's as simple as choosing more powerful beliefs, because you're God. You're God. You can transform anything to be what you want it to be, it's all your energy. You can make it be whatever you want it to be. It's simple. Quit torturing yourselves. <laughs>